Oh, that's good. Testing, testing, microphone check, cup placement, camera placement, all right. Oh, caffeine, you are my friend. What's going on everyone, Ryan here and excited to be able to shoot this video for you today. The last two weeks have been an absolute whirlwind. We just welcomed our second child into the world and I am sleep deprived. I've been elbows deep in changing diapers, uh, feeding, uh, daddy daycare stuff, but it is so good to have another boy in the world. Man, today's video is all about Smith's Leather Balm. If you've never used a Leather Balm before or understand how they work or why you would need one, this video is for you, so check it out guys, and I hope you enjoy it. If you're a leather crafter and you have an Instagram account, you've probably seen Smith's Leather Balm all over the place, and there's a good reason for it. Two and a half years ago when I started my leather craft career, or journey if you will, I had no idea what kind of product to put on my leather goods. And like most new crafters, I went to my local craft store and picked up a tin of leather balm that I thought was good and went home, used it, and it worked well. But little did I know the ingredients in those leather balms and conditioners uh, are not always good for your skin or safe on skin and could be potentially harmful if ingested. And by using this stuff on our hands all day, every day, that is kind of worrisome if you think about it. This is where Shane Smith comes in. Shane and Mandy Smith from York, Maine uh, have created this leather balm. And one day Shane messaged me on Instagram and said, Hey Ryan, I love what you do. Um, I was just wondering, Mandy and I have created this leather balm and we were wondering if we could send you a tin and if you could tell us your real honest opinion about it and uh, just what your thoughts are on it. And I said, hey, free balm, send away. Two weeks later, I received the balm and it was incredible. It worked well on all the leathers that I've used and it's just great because I know that it's safe on my skin. All right, let's get to the balm. This leather balm contains three all natural ingredients organic cocoa butter, organic beeswax, and 100% pure sweet almond oil. And that's it. No other ingredients, just all those natural good things for your leather and just really safe for your skin. The balm comes in two sizes, a one ounce tin and a four ounce tin. And I think it's smart that they made a four ounce tin because as crafters, we go through this stuff quite quickly and to just have a bigger tin on our workbench, uh, it's so much nicer having a bigger tin rather than those small tins. Oh, that's good. So a question I most often get is, will this balm darken my leather? And the answer to that is yes. A really dehydrated leather uh, tends to be really light and just dry, and as soon as you introduce oils and waxes and butter into it, it's going to darken it quite a bit, but it will start to lighten up over time. And I've done a few tests here uh, just to show exactly what kind of results you will get with different types of leathers. So for this experiment, I tried using three different types of leather. Natural vegetable tan leather with no finish on it, a chrome tan leather with a wax and oil finish, and a chrome tan leather that has been retanned vegetable uh, just to give you a wider variety of different leathers that you might use in your shop or a leather that you might have uh, just with your boots or jackets or you know everyday items like your bag and stuff like that so these four examples hopefully will give you a little bit of an insight as to how the balm works and reacts with the leather as you can see when the balm is applied it gets very dark and especially when you're applying it if it's not super even it's going to get more dark in some spots and light in the other spots it just really depends on your method of applying it i like to apply it with a cloth or a rag or a sponge but in this example i just use my thumb after 24 hours you can see the differences in the brightness or lightness of the leather uh, they do lighten up considerably from when i first put the balm on but you'll see that they do have a little bit of a darker contrast to them and that's fine and that's how leather works. Leather just craves oils. 
All right, guys, that is a wrap on this Smith's Leather Balm review. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you wanna go try some of this stuff out, head over to smithsleatherbalm.com. I'll put the link in the description. You can grab some balm there, and you can also grab some swag. They've got some hats, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, all that good stuff. Give them a follow on Instagram and uh, just show them some love. Also, for my crafter friends out there, if you are looking for some wallet templates uh, and you're just starting out and you don't have any idea of how to design a wallet, I've got some downloadable PDFs on my website. Uh, if you look at littlekinggoods.com, for the makers section, there are three templates that you can download. Um, I will also put a link in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, take it easy.